Here we are at one of the relatively new Chimsacho MTR station exits. It's been around for 10 years or so, facing the harbour hotels over to the left. Chimsacho post office here on Middle Road, busy place. And here is what's left of the Mariners Club, now reduced to rubble in 2019. There had been a place standing here since 1967 and it was always renowned as one of the cheapest bars in Chimsa Chui. That's up to Nathan Road. The new building will be going up at a cost of 800 million US dollars. The cheap pints may well be a thing of the past. I had to get here nice and early in the morning before 7.30 when the construction teams kick off and the noise is horrendous. You can see them here, lining up, chomping at the bit, so to speak. There are a lot more of them somewhere around. Back in 1985, when I first arrived here, very few places had IDD lines. So I regularly had to come down here to Hermes house and pay the princely sum of 100 Hong Kong dollars for a three minute international call right in there. Just proceeding up a little head here, past the gates, Star Mansion. We can see the Dao Heng Dim Sum Restaurant. Many years ago, that was the notorious Four Sisters pub cum bordello, a place best avoided. But look at it these days. It's hard to believe when you see the customers rolling up for dim sum breakfast that this place had such a shady past. An old friend of mine by the name of Owen from Dublin had a job dismantling stage props in various theatres around Hong Kong. He used to knock off work about one or two o'clock in the morning after a performance and roll in at the Four Sisters because the cheap beer became available then. Signal Hill Garden, just at the back of Chungking Mansions now, for those who know Hong Kong. Anyway, Owen, Owen, the Dubliner, was a very argumentative fellow. And one day he went a bit too far and got a bar stool over the head for his troubles. Making my way up Signal Hill also known as Blackhead Point. The area was managed by the Hong Kong Observatory, who actually built a tower at the top of this hill back in 1907. At that time it stood at a height of 42 feet and it was used for the purposes of signaling accurate time. But even back then, Construction was relentless. Buildings went up and up. After a while, the buildings at the top of this hill could no longer be seen by shipping. So another floor was added in 1927. But that didn't last long. It didn't help very much. Of course, with the coming of radio pips and other technology, the tower became obsolete. And the whole thing was suspended in 1933. Now it's quite a pleasant little park. People actually make their way up here for picnics, a little bit of Tai Chi, other forms of exercise. A few more steps. Up and up we go. You have to remember at one time this hill really was a landmark. But those days have long gone. It's 
around about 7.30 in the morning now and it really is silent up here. A few more steps. Quite a charming area. And this is right in the heart of Chim Sa Choi, a very busy urban area. And there, in all its magnificence, is the signal tower. Just a few more steps and we've got a little pavilion up here which gives it a bit of local flavour. And over here Victoria Harbour. facing North Point, Causeway Bay. And back again, another view of the tower. The tall structure behind is called K11. 